What's happening people is James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here and welcome back to another Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Whitton Town are away to Stone Market Town in the Isthmian League North Division. I am really buzzing for the fantastic Whitton Town away day up on the train to Stone Market. I'm really excited for the train journey and especially for our Whitton Town away match of Stone Market Town. And Stone Market Town are currently bottom of the league in 19th, which they were close to the relegation. And um, But like Callum said in the previous thoughts, that it won't be easy away at Stone Market Town because they're pushing for their first win of the season because they haven't won for a long time. But I know people seem to think it's going to be an easy walkover against Stone Market Town as we smashed them 8 0 at home against Stone Market Town previously earlier on this season. But it will be a different story away to Stone Market Town. But I'm really confident Whitton Town will return to winning ways against Stone Market Town. And I'm buzzing for the trip and I'm confident we're going to do it against Stone Market Town by getting a win for Whitton Town. But like I said, it won't be easy because, like I said, Stone Market Town are pushing for their first win of the season because it, it won't be an easy game. I know they're 19th in the league and we're currently 13th in the league. So we dropped down a few places because we was 10th in the league earlier on this season after we picked up some great wins. And then we gone a few defeats like at home against Barry Town and at home against Bowers and Pitsy and haven't had a game last Saturday because, like I said, East Falk United went into a liquidation earlier on this season. So it is a shame we had no game last Saturday because I was really looking forward to it. And like I said, I feel really sorry for East Falk United went into like liquidation by folding from the league so I feel really sorry for them and um, I wish them well and I wish you all the very best for the future and um, but I feel sorry for them when they went into liquidation earlier on this season from folding got folded in from the league so I feel really sorry for them and um, but let's focus for my team, Witten Town's away day to Stone Market Town. I'm really excited for the train trip. And we got our singing voices all ready for the Witten Town away match. And we're bringing some great numbers from our fellow Witten Town supporters for the Witten Town away match to Stone Market Town because we are really excited and buzzing already for the trip to Stone Market and. We are really confident Whitton Town will get a win away at Stone Market Town. And now I'm about to come away to get the train via changing at Ipswich, then get on another train from Ipswich to Stone Market for the Whitton Town away match to Stone Market Town very shortly. I'm currently now arrived at the station waiting to board the train to be on my way to Stowe Market, which will have to change at Ipswich and then get on another train from Ipswich into Stowe Market. We're filling the bus for, the, for tonight's game away at Stowe Market Town and I'm confident we get a win, but it won't be easy. But I know it won't be a walkover, but it'll be a good game, I reckon. But I know Stone Market Town are pushing for their first win, but we're focusing ourselves by getting a return to winning ways for Whitton Town tonight. And now I'm about to get ready to board the train to be on my way to Stone Market via Ipswich very shortly. I'm currently now on the train to be on my way via Ipswich before getting another train into Stone Market and currently just left Whitton about 20 minutes ago and the first part of the journey went really well and, I, and I'm really enjoying the journey and I am feeling the buzz already for the Whitton Town away match at Stone Market Town in the Isthmian League North Division for tonight's game and 
we're excited and all of our main fellow Whitton Town supporters are feeling the buzz for tonight's game away at Stowe Market Town and this game should be winnable away at Stowe Market Town but we can't write teams off like Stowe Market Town from rock bottom of the league because they're fighting for their first win just like I said previously that they're pushing for their first win of the season because it's going to be tricky because they're trying to get the win for their team Stone Market Town for their first win of the season but we're just focusing ourselves for tonight's game away at Stone Market Town I'm excited feeling pumped up and ready for the Wigan Town away support we've got our singing voices all ready to get behind the Wigan Town players and staff and especially for our Wigan Town manager Gabby Kimball as always because we always backed him this season to give him 150% because he loves the club and he deserves all the support from our Wigan Town supporters this season and um, but yeah we'll see about tonight's game and I'm excited for the game away at Stowe Market Town and this should be winnable for Wigan Town if we turn up tonight give us 150% and, and we have no problems at all if we turn up 150% and put on a really good performance away at Stone Market Town and, and we should return to winning ways as long as we turn up and like I said they're going to be up for it tonight because they, like I said they're pushing for their first win of the season because I, like I said I know we smashed them 8-0 at home earlier on this season because like It'll be a different story, just like just like Gary Kimball said in the previous interview. We're not going to get carried away, and it's going to be a different cat and fish against different teams because they're going to be like really up for it because like we've got to like really turn up tonight, put in 150 percent, and yeah, I believe we can do it. And now I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy the first part of the journey into Ipswich before getting another train into Stone Market. Oh, when the town, oh, when the town go marching in, I want to be in that number. Oh, when the town go marching in, oh, when the town, oh, when the town go marching in, go marching in, oh, when the town go marching in. Come on town. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. 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 Excited, I cannot wait. 
We're currently now arrived in Ipswich and we're now just board, about to board another train to be on our way to Stowe Market very shortly. We're now just boarded the train from Ipswich to be on our way to Stowe Market now and now I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy the journey. I'm currently now arrived in Stowe Market and we're currently on our way to Stowe Market Town FC to get ready for the Whitton Town away match to Stowe Market Town in the Isthmian League North Division. I am excited, I'm feeling the buzz and all pumped up and ready for the Whitton Town away support. I'm excited, I can't wait. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for the game and, and I should be at the ground very shortly. I'm now arrived at Stowe Market Town to get ready for the Whitton Town away match of Stowe Market Town in the Isthmian League North Division tonight. And here we've got the fellow Whitton Town fan Alfred. Yeah, James. Good, thank you. We're looking forward to the game. And I know some people may think it will be a walkover against Stowe Market Town because yeah. I know we smashed them 8 0 at home, yeah. but it'll be a different story tonight because they're pushing for their first win because they haven't yeah. won for a long time. The Whitton Town players got to really show up tonight. If yeah. we want to like win away at Stone Market Town, we've got to really put a performance in. And if you want to get a win away at Stone Market Town. Yeah, I watched them against Brentwood Town last week uh, and they were unfortunately after 15 minutes went down mm. 10 men. They looked okay, they've got a couple of good players, a couple of fast players, but I believe their team have got um, an under 23 final today, which mm. some of their team are under 23s and they're going to be playing in that. So. I don't know what youngsters they've got in. I know they're going to be fit. They're going to be loads of uh, loads of energy. So it's going to be it's going to be a tough game, I'd say. Um, but like I said, we should be picking up three points. And especially with the news now that uh, new salaries might be uh, folding, could mean that Stone Market wow. ain't going down. So Stone Market could be staying up, and new salaries could be going and getting out of the league. Yeah, that, that's what we thought because like uh, because we heard over the weekend that new salamis will be folded yeah. this season and yeah. Stone Market Town could receive a reprieve yeah. for next season because like we said new salamis will be folded at the end of the season and Stone Market Town could get a reprieve and at the up. end of the season and I'll be happy for Stone Market if they do get a reprieve yeah. but we'll see what happens at the end but we worry about ourselves for yeah. tonight's game yeah. and we worry about Whitton Town for tonight um, because it will be a big game away at yep. Stone Market Town because like we said, they trying to get their first win. Their first win, exactly. And and they're trying to push for their first win of the season because yeah. they haven't won since last season in the league, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. But the players got to really show up tonight and especially yeah. for our manager, your dad, Gary, 1,000%. Yeah. And I've always supported your dad 1,000% yeah. this season, throughout the whole season. And, yeah. um, and like I said, we fully backed him 1,000%. And, and I really hope he stays next yeah, season yeah, as manager really cool. because like, like your dad said, he loves the club Whitton Town so much in his heart yeah. and blood and, and he loves the fans and me in particular. And um, I really want him to stay. Yeah, he should hopefully be fine, mate. It's just this season's always been about getting new players in, testing it, testing the waters. Mm. And next season, like I said, once he gets, he has a bit more time and mm. gets the players that he wants and the players he don't really want to make a move, then I think we'll be back to the old Whitton Town from the first in, pushing mm. for playoffs like we did before. So. So this season was always a learning curve. It's all about just seeing how well we can do, and then second season is all about moving on and going that bit further. But going back to the game tonight, they they, they keep going to the 90th minute. They keep going mm. to the final whistle. They don't give up. They're going to be working hard. Like they said, they're going to get want to get their first win. However, tonight I just want us to get the ball down, try and get the goal difference up a little bit, and try and play as a team, communicating, getting shots off, testing the goal bit, but just. Use it as a bit of a confidence boost going into mm. our next game, uh, which is, I believe, is Brentwood Town. The next game, or uh, Wolfram Stowe at Wolfram home Stowe this Saturday, and Brentwood Town on the Monday. So we just need a, a bit of confidence boost tonight, get plenty of goals, and then confidence going into those games will be uh, will be vital. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction? I'm going to go six 0 Wolfram Town. I am going to be really positive as always. 
but I'm going to be really optimistic. I'm going to go 7 0 Witten Town. Would be nice, wouldn't it? It'll be, be nice, nice, yeah. It'll be nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Alfie. And up the, up town. the town. Up Come the on. town. I'm now with the fellow Witton Town supporter, Callum. Uh, hi, how are you doing, James? Good, thank you. This is going to be a big game away at Stone Market Town because they're pushing for their first win of the season because it, it will be tough away at Stone Market Town because I know they're bottom of the league, I understand that, and they haven't won a game for a long time. But we cannot write teams off the bottom of Stone Market Town because, like we said earlier on previously, they're pushing for their first win of the season because it will be really hard and the Whitton Town players got to really show up tonight if we want to return to winning ways. Um, yeah, look, obviously, Stone Market have obviously lost 9 0 to Brentwood, 6 0 to Wolfram, but before those two games, they had some good results. They lost a couple of games, but it was like 3 2 or 4 3 mm. or, or 1 0. So they're, they're, they're not going to, it's not going to be an easy game. It's going to be a mm. tough, tough game, but you know, if we go out and put in a performance, then we can come away with uh, three points. Yeah, the Whitton Town players like got to really turn up tonight because I know we went through a dip at the moment. We had a few bumps on the road at home against Berry Town and home against Bowers and Pitsy and didn't have a game last Saturday. And I think, in my opinion, I really hope last Saturday the Whitton Town players do a little bit of extra training to get fully prepared for tonight's game because like we said it's going to be a, a big game for Whitton Town away at Stone Market Town because like, like I said they're trying to push for their first win of the season because they haven't won since last season I believe but we're just going to focus on ourselves yeah. and get the get the three points for Whitton Town and we've got to really turn up tonight yeah we've got to turn up because just because they haven't won you know they're going to be trying to get that first win so if we're not at it you know we could become the uh, first team that they they win against, but we just got to go out there and put in a good performance mm. because they're a good side, but they haven't won a game. So we've got to be thinking we can get a, a result here against them because it's it's a game we should expect to be winning. But obviously we know they're going to come out fighting Snow Market, and uh, it'll be it'll be an exciting game hopefully. Yeah, uh, like we said previously, that I know Stone Market Town were bottom of the league, but we just got to like focus on tonight because they're pushing for their first win, and we've got to really show up for the Whitton Town players. But and then, like just like Alfie said, that new Salamis have been folded this yep, season, I've heard that as well. and I think, but I'm not hundred percent sure, but. As new Salam has been folded, but it may not be guaranteed, but I think, I think Stone Market Town might get a reprieve. Yeah, now, I don't know, would that, I don't know if that benefit them or not. They're obviously getting battered week in, week out in this league. So maybe going down would have helped them because they would have been able to regroup. But yeah, it's a shame, obviously, far from now new Salamis as well. It's a shame to see. see it is a shame. See, see, to see clubs like that fold, you know. Just feel what you know, the supporters, you know, it must be hard for, mm. for them. But yeah, fingers crossed tonight we can get a result against Stone Market and build on to onto Saturday's game against Wolverhampton. We've got some tough games coming up. We've got Wolverhampton. 100%. Wolverhampton is going to be tough. Then Brentwood away. Then we got Lower Soft Island. And then I think it's a cup final against, or cup semi final, sorry, against Clacton. Then we've got, we got Felix Stone away, Grays at home, Molden away. So some tough games there but some exciting ones as well we've got a good, 100%. End of, good end of season to look forward to yeah I'm really looking forward to the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup semi-final match against FC Clapton and I know Gary Kimball had a fantastic record in the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup competition his first stint as Whitton Town manager in, in 2012 but I know it's going to be a really tough uh, competition in the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup but if we play like we did this season, I believe we can go all the way. Yeah, well, I think we should be looking at getting into the final, but then obviously we play we play jumps or we play Haybridge. Yes, we've beaten Haybridge twice, but we might even be jumps. So, you know, we're going to have to put in a proper good performance to beat them. Mm. Two top quality sides, but if we don't win, if we get to the final, we don't win. We've got to the final. We've had a good run, so let's just enjoy it. You know, enjoy the semi-final. Mm. It'll be a good, good experience for the players to be in a semi-final. 
And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Callum? Uh, I'm going to stick with what I said and I'm going to go for 2-1 with Tintel. I'm going to be really optimistic and positive as always like in the previous pre-match thoughts. But I am going to be really, really, really optimistic. I'm going 7-0 with Tintel. Yeah, good. I think, yeah, Leon has gone 5-1. And Ben Ooh, Ben goes 9-0 with him town. Ben has gone 9-0. <laughs> Although we've got to remember he predicted 6-0 for the last game at home we played them and we beat them 8-0. So who knows? We could go better than his prediction again. But yeah. no, looking forward to the game and Come on with him! Come on with him! Up the town! Up the town! You looking forward to the game? Yeah man, long journey. Yeah. Enjoy the game. Looking to... You looking forward to the game? Excellent. Enjoy the game. You You're looking forward to the game? Yeah, looking forward to it, yeah. Excellent. Enjoy the game. You too. Watch out! He's behind you! Oh, you <laughs> I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporters, Law and Rick. Hi James. Hi James. Good, thank you. This is a big game away at Stone Market Town because they're pushing for their first win of the season because they haven't won for a long time. But we're just going to focus on ourselves that the Whitton Town players got to really show up tonight if you want to put the performance in and get a win away at Stone Market Town. Like we said, it's the most important thing. The players got to really show up tonight. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be a tough match, isn't it? Because they are looking for their first win. Um, we can't go out there and think it's going to be a roll over. You know, we, we beat them 8 0 back at home. So 8 0 at home. And, uh... So we can't expect that to happen. We're up there at home. It's going to be a tough match. But as you say, the players have got to turn up today um, and put a performance in, haven't they? We didn't turn up last week. The last two games, anyway. We didn't turn up the last two games, anyway, did we? Nah. We played Bowser Gray. We never played like that. We played Bowser Gray. We played Bowser Gray. We played Bowser Gray. We played Bowser Gray. We they had, they had two ways of scoring. Two, one big kid out of the goalkeeper's hands and that big long throw. Then he played football, that's all he wants. So he goes two goals away from him. Tonight, you can't afford to do that if you don't want to lose. Exactly, yeah, right. because. Yeah, because we've got to really turn up tonight because like, I know people seem to think it's going to be a walkover against Stone Market Town, but it's not, no, it's not. because it'll be really tough because like we said previously, they, they're looking for their first win of the season for a long time because they, they're rock bottom of the league and we cannot write teams off the bottom and we've got to really show up tonight. Yeah, we've just got a bit of performance in. You know, like I said, when we played our last game, I, didn't, I thought the team let the fans down, I've got the teams let Gary down, you know, but we move on, new game, you know, they've had a little bit of a rest, haven't they? We've got this game, uh, we've got another game on Saturday, and then we've got a really tough one away on Monday, haven't we? So, you know, we just got to put a good performance in today, play the team, talk to each other, and, you know, hopefully the rest will write it itself, so. We haven't got to play proper football since last, well, last time we played Enfield, actually. Enfield, yeah. Enfield, you know, let's have another performance at Enfield. Five home away from home. Five nil the crowd last year. Don't forget the three points today. That's what matters. Exactly, yeah. We don't, want it, we don't want it to be one nil because then we're all. Yeah. Oh, like that right now, now. But. I like you said, but the most important thing is to get the three yeah, points as long matters. as we get the win. Yeah. And we as long as we turn. We can't go for nothing more than three points. 100%. So, a draw's a loss, isn't it? Yeah, around us. 13th in the league now. Yeah, we're slowly coming down. But, a draw, to me, is a loss. I know it's a point, but that's not good. We need three points today. That's, that's 100% good. we need three points tonight because, yeah. like, we had a few bumps. The one at home against Bailey Town and lost that one. And we lost to Bowser and Pitsy. And then we didn't have a game last Saturday. and. 
I think, in my opinion, I think the players should be give extra training to be fully prepared for tonight's game because it's a big game tonight. It is a massive game. It is a really big game. It's a big game for Gary, I think. And it's a big game for Whitton Town. So, you know, you know, there's, there's a few of us tonight, which is good. Good turnout for the away support yeah, for yeah. Whitton Town so, tonight. Um, and we're, we're buzzing we're, tonight. Exactly, we're buzzing for the game. Let's take, let's take, our three, let's take three points tonight. It's a tough game to get pulled from Sunday to Saturday. Another tough game on Monday to get pulled from Monday. That one. We've still got a lot of stuff to play. The field is going to play. Four, four tough games there. So, well, you know, know what, James? I'm really sad, though. It's coming to the end of the season. What are we going to do? It's gone so quick since August. Like, it's what are we going to do August. on a Saturday, James? Like, yeah, because. I think it's about seven games to go yeah. now. I think seven yeah. more games to go now. And, and the last one, last game of the season, is oh, wait. my birthday. Your birthday? Oh, oh, brilliant. Gordon and Tiptree, so. You know. oh, yeah, it's gone, it's gone so quick since August. And then, um, because like we said, we really enjoyed the season. Yeah. We've had a great season, really, haven't we? So I look forward to doing the highlights at the end of the season, mate. Yeah, but we support them. Yeah, but we support them. No matter what, win, lose, or draw, we're back out there. We're back supporting them, we're cheering them on, we're shaking their hands, win, lose or draw, that's all we do. And that's got to give them a little bit of motivation, especially if we come, you know, 40 minutes down the road. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to it. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's the score prediction, Laura? I'm going for 3-0. 3-0 Whitton? Yeah. What's your score prediction, Rick? I'm going to go 4-0. 4-0 Whitton Town. Thank you, James. I'm going to be more optimistic than ever this season. Um, but... I'm going to go 3-0 Whitton Town. I'm going to go 3-0 Whitton Town. Oh, James, you're going to be the best one. Yeah, I'm going to go 3-0 Whitton Town. I'm going to be the best one. I'm going to go 3-0 Whitton Town. 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 I'm going to go 3-0 
I'm going to go for, I'm going to be really more optimistic than ever this season. The first time ever this season, I'll be more optimistic. I'm going 7-0 with the town. You've got to be... <laughs> well, let's hope you're right and I'm wrong. <laughs> But yeah, we've got the most important thing is we get the win, and just like Rick said, as long as we get all the three points, yeah. like no matter what the score is, as long as we get the three points tonight, and um, we're buzzing tonight. Yeah, looking forward to it, and you're right, it doesn't matter about the score, we're just happy with the three points. If we can get that, we'll be going away from being happy. Thank you so much for your time, Paul, and let's get the three points for Witten Town and come on the town. Come on, Witten. 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 Come on, Whitam, come on, Whitam. Whitam are massive everywhere we go. Whitam are massive. Whitam are massive everywhere we go. Come on, Whitam, come on, Whitam, come on, Whitam. Why are we? Why are we? Why are we? Oh, lucky! Ah, oh, should have finished it! Come on! Ah. Oh. Go win it! Win it! Free kick. Oh, unlucky! Unlucky, Ryan! Now, come on! Good ball! Ah! What well play, Josh? Ah! Oh. Take him on, take it uh, Call out, yes! Yes, come on! We two! We two! Oh, come on! Corner of the Stone Market Town. Oh, just wide. Oh, my days. Yes! Yes! Must be! Unlucky Josh! Unlucky Josh! Come on, Whitsum! Minute! We're gonna score in a minute! Clear. What was that? Come on. Come on. Come on, we turn. Yes. Finish it. Win, man. Good save. 
What are you doing, man? What are you doing there? Yes! Finally! Finally! Yes! Yes! Come on! Finally! 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 Yes! Come on! Yes! Yes, Bradley! Come on! Yes! Yes, Laura! Yes! Yes, we! Yes! Yes, Paul! Yes! Yes, Callum! Yes, come yes, on! Yes, come on! I've got my umbrella at the moment. I've got many hands to hold on. <laughs> Come on! Get it again! Unlucky! Unlucky! Good clear! Oh, corner Stone Market Town. Well cleared. Go on! Go on, you got it, you got this! Oh, unlucky, unlucky! The half time score Stowe Market Town, Neil Whitton Town 1. And here we got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Laura, Callum, and Paul. Hello, right? mate. Guys, it was a really frustrating first half because like, we should have been like three or four up at half time. Like, we was drawing nil-nil at the moment. It was really frustrating. But the main thing is we got the first goal for, for us and um, one nil at half time. And, but what needs to improve in the second half? Uh, yeah, it's frustrating, but, you know, like if, we were, if we were playing as no distract, we were playing a better team, we'd have probably got punished for not taking those chances. We kind of got away with it in the first half, but we've got the goal. But hopefully that can be the turning point. We can go and kick on now and get a few more goals because it's been frustrating to watch that. Definitely, yeah, it's frustrating because you know we should have taken them four or five chances we had and we haven't took them. So. And the one with Josh clean through on goal and then um, clean through on goal one on one. And lucky as well the uh, keeper managed to save it and then managed to get the defender to clear it up. Yeah, to be that fair, it was a good goal. save from their keeper. To be fair, but it's just we should have been, in my opinion, but. We should have been like winning by more. We should be, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think, you know, one thing that Leeds taught us this season is there's no such thing as really easy games. We beat some really good sides and we lost against some not so good sides. So I think we've got to be patient. It's the, you know, we're away from home, it's a difficult night, the pitch is slippery, it's not the night for sort of long balls because they're skidding off the surface. We've been the better team, so if we keep at it and we keep going, then we should be alright. Oh yeah, we're the better team throughout the first half. It's just it's just the final third, like we said time again this season. The final third, like we've got to really improve on the final third, but the attacking flowing football's really good, but it's just we've got to really improve to be more attacking flowing football. Yes, yeah, so it's that the final little pass, the final ball was not quite clicked yet, but uh, it's, it's been a difficult night so far, and, uh, but you know, yeah, so far so good. I think we just need to be patient. We need to try and watch them. Yeah, that's right. I've got to be patient, which we understand. We've got to be patient, which is understandable. But it's just like we've got to really work on more, like to, to, to find the finish into the back of the net. But like we said, the main the main important thing is we won it up half time. We got the goal. Yeah. That was a great goal from. Yeah. From some Freddie, Freddie King, yeah. I think it was a fantastic first goal. And um, but the main thing is we're going one in at half time, and yeah, it's a hopefully we get better in the second half and be more dominant. Yeah, that's okay. So far, so good. We've been we've been playing well. We just haven't taken our chances, and that has cost us on a uh, multiple occasions this season. But we just need to take our chances. You know, if we take them, we're going to win this game. But we can't keep missing these chances because we know. The start market, like they did in the first half, they will get a chance. So if we don't take them, we're more than likely going to get punished for not taking them. That's right, 100%, Callum, because if you don't take your chances, 
you'll get punished. Yeah. We get punished if you don't take your chances. But multiple occasions this season we've had it where we've not taken our chances. But it's just one of the cup. First half we absolutely battered them, didn't score any, and they went and beat us 3 0. So, but just yeah, all, again, taking our chances is all we need to do. If we can do that, we're going to come out of this game with a comfortable victory. What's your thoughts on the first half so far, Laura? Yeah, I just think we just, you know, the loose balls we're not getting, are we? You know, as I said, the guys say, we are playing well. We are just, you know, we're just not getting that final bit at the moment. The final we? third, exactly, yeah. yeah. The goalkeeper's kept kept him in it, hasn't he, really? Like, yeah, know, they could have been a lot it. more. But, you know, I think, I think we will come out in the second half. I think we'll push on and we'll get a couple more goals. Thank you guys so much for your time no problem, and, and hopefully you get a much stronger second half. Come Fingers on the town. Crossed. Come on town. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Come on. Witter. Come on, Witter. Come on, Witter. Come on. You got it. Bring it. Go on, Iggy! Come on! You got it, Iggy! Okay. My bag, Iggy! Hey, bro, well, my bag should be sheltered. Come on, Iggy! Oh! Yeah. You got it! Bring it, bring it! Bring it, bring it! Have a shot! Oh, unlucky. Oh, corner to us. Go on. And again, and again. Hey. Ooh. Is that a penalty or free kick? Oh my days! Oh my days! Penalty kick to Stone Market Town! Oh my days! Oh my days! Penalty kick to Stone Market Town! Rock bottom Stone Market Town! Oh my days! Is that Harry in goal? Come on, Harry, save it! Oh my days! Stone Market goal scorer number nine, David Bart Lorimer! One one. Just like we said, Cannon, we've been in, in too inconsistent.
The rain's back again. Cool. Oh my days. We got away with that. Well played, Kingy. Both arms on his back. Oh. Hey, Come on! Let's go! Oh. Support, where's the support? You've got to talk, man! Yes, come on! Oh. Pass the ball, man. Full time. Full time. I'm sorry, I've got to say, this is the most shocking second half. Well done, Ryan. Well done, Kev. Well done. We go again. We go again. Go again. We go again, George. We go again. Go again. We go again Saturday. Go again. We go again. We go again. We go again, Gary. Perfect. The full time score Stone Market Town 1, Witten Town 1, and here we got the fellow main Witten Town supporters, Laura Callum and Paul. <clears throat> Good Hello, James. I don't know where to start it. Like we said during the second half, that draw is like a loss. Yeah. Because for me, that second half performance was absolutely shocking in my opinion but you may not agree but I, I think it was the most shocking second half we've seen but but what is your thoughts on it first 20 minutes in the uh first half i thought yeah we looked good a few chances we could have gone and got a few goals but then since then we've just dropped no disrespect to star market but they're bottom of the league five points from a possible more than 80 points possible so how it's frustrating that we played that bad but you know, why are we playing so badly against the team? Too league? inconsistent. Just like you said, Callum, we all season we've been too inconsistent. We've beaten Haybridge, we've beaten Phoenix. So why exactly. are we not coming here? Look at Brentwood beat them 9 0, Goulston beat them 6 0, and we've come here and just not performed at all. It's not good at enough. All. It's not good enough, no. We, we just look like, like the lower clubs. We look like we're just going to roll over and let them just take it, and that's what we've done yeah. again today. They think that we're going to come here and just stroll it. They're not, it's not going to happen. We are just, we're just awful today, really. Hey! Hey! Sorry about that, it was a bit of a floodlight went off and um, we're now just like, oh, we're, like we're, we're at Morden and Kittery. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, like, um, like, for me, the second half was poor in my opinion, but this is, like you said, Callum, we've been too inconsistent at the moment. But it's just has it improved, in it? No, it's just frustrating because we've beaten the top teams. Why? Yeah, as Laura said, it's not a walkover. We know they're bottom of the league, but it's like we don't even know. We made them look good, though, didn't we? Really? We did. They're not a great side. Let's be real. Side. But why are we playing this badly against a team bottom of the league? We should be coming out. Looking at winning three, four, five nil. Teams are beating them by a bigger scoreline. Yeah, we at eight nil home, and we we looked really good against them in the home match, but it wasn't. It was poor. I think it was worse than Barry Town, in my opinion. Actually, I agree yeah, with that. Because yeah, you look where that is yeah. worse than Barry Town away. You look where Barry are in the league now. They're up there. They're about third they could, in the league. They could get promoted. We're we're playing against a team bottom of the league, and we we. You know, we just played awful, but I don't know. 
I mean, I am, to be honest with you, I am fuming with a second half performance because the players did not turn up second half, but first half it was all over them. We should have been three or four up a half time. And in the second half, like you said, Callum, we've been too inconsistent. Yeah, I, I agree with you guys. I think um, that's a good example of our whole season, that match. I think the first half we were good. We could have been three or four up. Their goal led a bit of a charm drive. We missed a few chances, a few fresh air shots. We were the much the better team, and it looked all everything was going according to plan. Second half, it was a different Witten Town came out, and we didn't see anything from our forward players. Uh, we didn't really get going until the last five or ten minutes. Then we put them under a little bit of pressure. Good header off the, the crossbar there from Chris could have won it, but equally we could have lost that in the last ten minutes there. And their shot just wide. Just wide. We, could have, we, could we, could, we could have lost that. And yeah. I mean, it's just like. I've never been this frustrated in all my long time as a Witten Town fan. No. Playing that poor yeah. second half, and then like well, they've, 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 the fans down, they're, they're all of us down to this tonight. They're, they're, we came all this way. Yeah, we came, the the rain. We came yeah. this way in the pouring rain, and then it's just we didn't turn up. We came all this way, yeah. paying good money to watch that. I think the, the important thing as well, though, is if you can't win a game and you struggled and huffed and puffed a bit today in the second half. If you can't win it, don't lose it. Yeah. I think we deserve it. We could have lost that. It's like a loss. We should have lost that. I mean, a draw's like a loss. It is. I know you say... It's like a loss. I know, obviously, if you can't win, don't lose. But, it, oh, poor. But, you know, we go again against Wolves on Saturday. Yeah. We should hopefully get a good Tough crowd day. there. Tough day. Like that. Saturday and Monday, we're going to get annihilated on Monday by Brighton. I agree, though, yeah, 100%. We've got to think, you know, anything can happen. If we produce, produce a good performance, we can easily win. Yeah, yeah. first half I thought was all right. Yeah. I think we were a much better side, created yeah. a lot of good chances. Should have been far more than one that yeah. the game would have been put to bed then. Then it wouldn't have mattered, we, we, did we didn't kill it off. In the second so. half, it was a different Whitten who came out, and they never really got going. The movement wasn't there, the passing wasn't there. There was a lot of long balls skidding off the sweat surface. We just never got going until the last 10 minutes. But, yeah, we we'll go again on Saturday. Yeah, we go again we on Saturday. No, no yeah, that's we the didn't. No, we, 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 I think we did deserve it to lose, probably. But anyway, yeah, as you said, we go again Saturday. Yeah, we go again Saturday. They're yeah. a good team. I think they're up there as well. Brentwood are good, obviously. You know, got some really tough games coming up. <laughs> but we just got to think that we're safe. Nothing. We can't. We're, we're mid-table, so sort of, in my opinion, these are like free hits. You know, it doesn't matter if we win them all or lose them all or draw them all. Yeah, we've yeah. had a good season. We have secured our status, and we yeah we focus on the next couple of games. We have secured and our a cup state. final coming up as well. So yeah, yeah I think we, the best thing we can say about that game is to be glad it's finished. Yeah, I'm glad, glad it's finished. We put it to bed. Uh, move on. Move on. I'm really Saturday, glad yeah. it's finished because, like, for me, in my opinion, that is that. Is, like you said, Callum, it was worse than Barry Town away. Yeah, but yeah. let's forget about this now. Move on. Move, Move on. on. Move on. Move on. Yeah, it's in the books. Thanks again for the thoughts, James. That's yeah, all right, no worries. You have a, have a good we have a good trip Thank back. you all so much for no your time. Problem. We've got to voice our thoughts yeah, in the yeah, game. We've got to we'll voice see you on it. Saturday. And we'll yeah, see you on Saturday. Uh, and we go again Saturday. on Saturday. Yeah, go again. I'll be there Saturday and Monday, so yeah. 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 Two tough games, but yeah, let's yeah. move on let's and focus on the next two games. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Keep the faith, town. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. I'm now with the Whitton Town assistant manager, Kevin Hunter. How are you doing, James? You right? Good, thank you. What is your thoughts on the game against Stowe Market Town away? Um, first and foremost, I want to say um, congratulations to Stowe Market because to fair play to them, they gave it 120% today. And like I say, it was always going to be a tough place to come on a Tuesday night. Mm. But they deserve credit where credit's due. And unfortunately, our boys were not up to it today. And like I say, I'm not going to hide the fact and hide away from the fact today. I'm questioning some of the boys' desire, commitment, and the performance just weren't good enough today. I'm not going to sit here and. Um, cover over it and protect the players tonight because for me it was a totally unacceptable performance for me. But I say we demand, demand high standards here at Whitton and tonight just weren't good enough and like I say the boys they know about it after the game like I say I, I really let them have it after the game in the dressing room. Like I say we can't come to places like this and not be ruthless in front of goal. We've had probably 10 12 chances tonight and scored one goal and like I say that's just that's not, not good enough and like I say um, yeah, I'm not a very happy bunny tonight, to say the least, James. 
Yeah, so as our supporters, like, we wasn't happy with the game, but we move on to Saturday now, and... Um... Yeah, of course, we're going we're gonna to go back uh, into training Thursday, we're going to work hard, and like I say, we need a, a, a reaction on uh, Saturday, um, we're going to come up against a decent opposition in Walthamstow, um, it's just it's just for me, I just feel, feel a little bit let down by the boys tonight, because they're so much better than what they are, and like I say, they've worked hard all season, I'm not going to knock that, but tonight, it just for me, ain't good enough, I'm not, I'm not going to hide away from the fact I think the boys are really not good enough for me tonight, and I'll take that on the chin, um, and like I say, we go again uh, Saturday, but... I'm, yeah, just not happy, mate, not happy. Thank you so much for your time, no Kevin, problem, and we go again on Saturday. Yeah. Cheers, James. Thank Thanks. You. Bye bye. We're currently now just leaving Stowe Market Town Football Club to run our way back to the station at Stowe Market to get the train back home. We're currently now arrived back at Stowe Market Station, waiting to board the train to be on my way back home to Whitton. After that terrible, terrible, second half performance away at Stowe Market Town but like we say in our full time thoughts a draw is like a loss against Stowe Market Town but the first half was good we had chance after chance after chance and we should have been three or four up at half time but then the second half we literally dropped in the second half and credit to Stowe Market Town and their fans for keeping it going throughout the whole 90 minutes. And I know they're rock bottom of the league. I was right in the preview saying it's not gonna be easy away at Stone Market Town. And they're trying to push for a win. And I was right. I was right in the preview because it's never easy, but I'm sorry that it is the poor second half performance and um, we have the right to feel frustrated after that poor second half performance. But like we said, it's done and dusted. We've got to move on to the next game. And now we look forward to the journey home and we're about to board the train to be on the way back home to Whitton shortly. So here you go. We're currently just left Stone Market Station to be on our way back home to Witten now after that abysmal second half performance away at Stone Market Town. But I don't know what to say to be honest. I don't know where to start it. But the first half performance was really good. And like I said, we should have chance after chance. We should have been three or four up at half time. We took the lead at half time and I thought that would give us a boost of confidence and um, I just can't believe it in the second half performance and we literally got away with it on losing 2-1 to Stone Market Town. We literally got away with it because their shot was just wide and I thought it was going in the back of the net. I thought here we go again, same old stuff and um, I am not happy. I'm not a happy bunny at all with the second half performance. I have to be really honest with you. I am absolutely, I'm not happy. I'm not sorry. I'm not happy with the second half performance. Like, I do not know what went wrong. I mean, is it, is it the raining conditions or it might be just, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Anyway. Today's game's all done and dusted now and we've got to look forward to the remaining six matches now and we've got a game against Walthamstow this Saturday coming which is another tough game and um, I haven't got much to say to be honest with you about tonight's performance in the second half especially. I haven't got much to say because like I said, done and dusted now and now we've got to move on to the next game. Hope you enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is a home to Walthamstow on Saturday, the 30th of March. 
keep the faith with some town.